Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Shruti Bajaj, Director and Consultant Clinical Geneticist at the Purple Gene Clinic, Mumbai. We are aware that hearing loss can be due to multiple causes, environmental factors like noise pollution, certain infections, some harmful drugs. In today's session, let's try and understand about the genetics of hearing loss. Hearing loss can be of two main types, one which is early onset in which the child has deafness since birth and this prevents the development of normal speech. So such individuals have deafness and mutism. You will be surprised that 80% of such early onset deafness can have an underlying genetic error. The other type of hearing loss is the adulthood onset one in which after the development of normal language, the child or the adolescent starts developing hearing loss. Now, 40 to 60 percent of these cases also are due to an underlying genetic disease. In some cases, the hearing loss is isolated. So the only symptom that the person has is that of not being able to hear properly. But in some other cases, there are other systems involved too. Let me give an example. We have a condition called as Usher syndrome. This is a genetic disease which is caused due to an error in one of the crucial genes. This condition causes early onset severe deafness since childhood, but later on in adolescence and adulthood, it can also cause blindness due to retinitis pigmentosa. So you can imagine if the family does not have a complete diagnosis, they would not be aware about the possibility of this additional disability that could come up in the child in future. Let's take another example. There is an important gene KCNQ1 which is uh, crucial in the functioning of the hear, hearing as well as in the heart rhythm. If there is a mutation or an error in this gene, not just does it cause hearing loss, but it can also cause some very crucial heart rhythm abnormalities. And these heart rate abnormalities can get triggered by certain drugs, which we have to strictly avoid in an individual having these mutations. So you see how a genetic diagnosis can help in more comprehensive care of the individual. Of course, if we know what is the cause of the hearing loss, we can even explore for treatment options. Recently, there's been some excitement around gene therapy for one of the genes OTOF, which is associated with hearing loss. And last but not the least, we have often scenarios where both the partners who are marrying each other have hearing loss and they wish to plan their pregnancy or in other cases where there is a family where one child is affected with hearing loss and they wish to have another one. In such scenarios, a holistic genetic diagnosis is often very helpful in guiding the couples to take informed decisions. So let's not turn a deaf ear. If you have an individual with hearing loss, you may talk to your expert about this. Thank you so much. If you like this video, you can subscribe to the Purple Gene Clinic.